Eswati ni best Zimbabwean football commentator, Noel Mutzamba, has revealed the standard of football in the kingdom has fallen partly due to the quality of coaches had by the football association. Well, what I can tell you is that uh, the set of the foot, uh, of the game in Swaziland, uh, I would divide it, uh, say, into uh, three phases. Uh, firstly, the phase uh, where uh, it was on the downtrend after they brought in uh, that, uh, the Belgian Valerie uh, Billen as their, their head coach, and that game went down. But at that particular time, when compared to the club football, it was on a bit on the upside uh, with a lot of Zimbabweans coming in. You remember that, that was the time when we had uh, Stanford Nube still playing, Kronipan Ndebele still playing, Talen Maposa still playing for, uh, in, for, 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 for clubs in Swaziland. So vis-a-vis, -vis, the national team was on the decline and uh, the club football was a bit on the upside. Then the second phase was when uh, they decided to do away with the Valerie Bilen and then brought in the local coach, uh, that is uh, Eris Madzebulunga, uh, so you'd find that during that phase, that's the time when uh, clubs like Babane uh, uh, Solos came through and did well in Africa. Uh, you remember, uh, as a matter of beginning, they, 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 the two top clubs there in Swaziland, Royal Rapids and Babane um, Solos, managed to humble uh, Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates in that tournament. Uh, that was the King's Cup, uh, the one-off that was played at uh, some kind of stadium. Meanwhile, Turning to Zimbabwe, Mutzamba has urged football administrators to set their differences aside for the good of the game and avoid both rumors that are toxic to the game. I'm Seth Mangena, reporting for Next Level Sports TV, Bulawayo.